All right, now I'm going to go ahead and try removing the uh, BPS. Um, I've already got the top module out. So these connectors, these blue connectors, disconnect by pulling up on the blue portion of it and literally unplugging it. get all this disconnected. Ooh, that's not that cool. My harness to my spaghetti wiring is actually abraded. Um, yeah, that's uh, concerning. Not good at all. That would uh, burn a car to the ground, most definitely. I'm going to go ahead and get a picture of that. A little bit scary. And then the third harness connector is all the way down at the bottom under the system. So, go ahead and pull up on that guy. And apart it comes. So now I have all power disconnected into the BP, BMS BPS system. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all the connectors that go into it. There's a button on the close side of these top two connectors and I'm pressing in to remove it. Not the most convenient location. Then on all these side connectors, a button. I really want to see inside to see if it's conformal coded or not. Primarily, because that's what I do every day. See what quality they did. It is an eight millimeter again. And I'm going to use a gear wrench to uh, loosen the fasteners up because there's not a lot of room to work. There's two screws on the top, two bolts. It seems to be moving in and out of its uh, thing here. There's most likely two more on the bottom. That would be correct. As you can see, I don't have any uh, fancy caution labels on mine. Mine looks like an earlier prototype of some sort. Ah, I have labels on the back side. High voltage components. Danger. Warning. Calsonic Can Say Corporation. Yep, so she's completely out. I'll get some pictures of it opened up. <laughs> 